11, a little girl is in the fight of her life, but she has some big help getting her through. She and her service dog are facing this rare and dangerous disease together. New Center 5's Marissa Ladner reports the family is hoping her story will help others. When they look into your eyes and you go nose to nose, it's basically their way of hugging you. Mm -hmm. Meet Bella, an energetic, talkative 10 year old who suddenly found her footing thanks to her new service dog, George, and new treatments for the rare, potentially life threatening disease she's been dealing with since the age of two. Bella has something called Morchio syndrome, it attacks her healthy bone growth. So that's why she's short statured, her hips had issues with them, her feet. Even after nine major surgeries, getting around has never been easy. But it's a lot better since Bella started enzyme transfusions last June. Walk on. No, walk on. And since George moved in last month. I had like walkers, Canadian crutches, wheelchair, regular crutches. And then we got George and I dropped my crutches and started to use him. This one-year-old Great Dane goes everywhere with Bella, including school. He knows what to do. He knows where all my classes are. And as handsome and sweet as George is, when he's out and about with Bella, he's off limits to the rest of us. Some people, they come up and ask if they can pet him, play with him, because some people think he's a therapy dog. So I say, no, you can't pet him. He's a working service dog. A working dog with a big job to do for a little lady with a lot of living to do. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Wow. George was donated to Bella by the Service Dog Project in Ipswich. There is no cure for Morchia syndrome, but there are a lot of great treatments, encouraging treatments, and they're being done right here at uh, Children's Hospital in Boston. And ne wow. never even heard of it before, and apparently only 3,000 people in the world have this. That's how rare it is. That's rare.